We're going to be playing as Tyrus again this time around. This stage opens up a little oddly, with some platforming. Like I said last time, we want to use the height differences to our advantage. It's actually really easy to trick the enemies into walking right into your attacks with this. We do want the upper ground, so that way the enemy has to work to reach us. Aside from the environment, though, you already know how this fight works. We move up or down, wait until they're aligned with us, and then jump attack. It is notable, though, because this is the point in the game where they just start throwing three enemies at you regularly. Though you'll see up here, we can abuse some of the game's logic to our advantage. And fight more enemies one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a skeleton. We saw one of these guys a while ago, but this is the first time they're appearing as a regular enemy. Our strategy for the skeleton is the same as it is for the other enemies, but he's a bit more dangerous because his full combo deals a bar and a half of damage. He keeps falling off the cliff, but he just comes right back because for some reason he's the only enemy that respawns. Not sure why that is. You're supposed to fight two skeletons at the same time up here. But they spawn this one prematurely, so you can take them on alone. These guys are really no problem unless you let them get too close, which should never be an issue. They'll become the most annoying enemies in the game later, though. Quite a bit later. Just like the skeleton back there, this enemy spawns prematurely, so even though he's technically part of the boss fight, we can fight him separately. He's having a lot of trouble with this cliff. He's supposed to- yeah, he's supposed to jump up it. It's a little cheap to fight the boss this way, but I like to show off things like this. Here's the two we were supposed to fight with him. Of course, at this point in the game, if you're having trouble taking on two enemies by themselves, then you're not going to make it much farther. Here's a skeleton with a more regular enemy, but we're still not done. This is a three-part boss fight. Even if the skeleton is a lot more dangerous than the normal enemy, this is exactly as easy as fighting those two guys we just fought. Kind of an underwhelming struggle, this one, even if you do cheese it. But we're not done yet. Ah, now we're talking. Unfortunately... We can summon a dragon! Which obviously just destroys them. They had a good thing going there with the two skeletons, but, I mean, we summoned a dragon out of thin air. They were done for. 